Hello everyone and welcome back to Stonehearth Alpha 21. Oh, I zoomed in a bit close there, sorry. And uh, as you can see, our little um, village is slowly f taking shape. I, I apologize for the lag. Um, the game seems to be performing particularly badly today. I'm not sure why. It wasn't reporting like this yesterday when I recorded the previous episode. Uh, but if we bring up the building browser, you will see that I have designated uh, more of these little houses to be built. And we have four rows of six, which gives us a total of 24 hearthlings worth of space, including our workshops, means that we are pretty much completely covered for housing, which is pretty damn cool. Now, as far as I'm aware, these are all finished. Yeah, 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 yep, yeah, yep. Are you finished? Yes, you are finished. Finished and finished. So we can click here, say finish editing, and set them building. Let's go. Oh no, we want to start building. Did I click pause there? No, they're good. Okay, so they'll they'll get dig in there like they always do. Oh, we're getting some pretty terrible frame rates. I will I will look into that. Hopefully there's something we can do about it, but unfortunately, um yeah, today's episode's gonna be recorded at a slightly suboptimal recording speeds. So, let's go ahead and- oh, Chelsea's uh, leveling up, good for her. Is she fighting? She shouldn't be. And uh, that reminds me, we need to change some jobs around. Now, I've gone ahead and made Brian a knight, because he has the stats for the ultimate knight, which is pretty cool. We're gonna leave these guys here as a, uh, workers, just because we need somebody working at any given time. Um, I think we're gonna take Rebecca off, uh, and she would make a fantastic engineer. But I think we're actually going to see what we can do about training her up as... Because um, she was blacksmith, right? Yeah, she's a very good blacksmith too, actually. Who is our blacksmith at present? Um, Assassin Ninja. And he is a level 3 approaching level. He'll get there. That's okay. Because he wants to be an engineer. That's right. So I think we'll actually take um, Rebecca off engineering. We can change those jobs around now. She was just our placeholder engineer. So we'll click that. And once she changes the job, we'll upgrade Assassin Ninja to be our engineer. Oh, and guys, if you would like your name in game, just hit that subscribe button and be sure to let me know that you have subscribed if your subscriptions are private. Because then I will gladly add you to the list and you have a chance of getting your name in game. So let's have a look here. Hmm. Has it been done, Rebecca? You haven't changed your job yet. Why not? Where are you? Oh, she changed to worker. She doesn't change to graphic yet. That's okay. So let's change your job. You can become the world's greatest engineer. Congratulations, sir. And then we'll check the daily update now. And then Rebecca, wherever she's gone. Uh, there she blows. Uh, we're going to change her to uh, blacksmith. Uh, change jobs. Sorry, wrong buttons all around. Why? There we go. Approve. Fantastic. Okay, daily update. We need another halfling, and we have just enough for one. Let's bring in Danihar Saya. Well, hello, Danihar. Nice to see you. Now, let me just double check the names, but I believe that the next on the list is. Uh, oh. I got some lag there. No, okay. Uh, yes, it is indeed. It is Alex Wheeler. He is the next edition. One of my earlier subscribers that's come up next on the list. So, Wheeler. The list is randomized. I found this cool site that does it. And Alex is a pretty fantastic um, footman candidate. So, I think we're actually just going to go ahead and upgrade him straight away. You fantastic soldier. He's a cultist. That's okay. And he's a heavy, he's a glutton. Okay, so he's not going to be much of a great worker anyway. Let's make him, there we go, the footman. At this point, I am not certain what the cultist vibe actually does. Uh, I, I really have absolutely no idea. Okay, he'll he'll become a very good soldier very quickly. Yeah, put him on some cloth armor. Our blacksmith could definitely uh, go ahead and make us some more weapons, though. So let's do that. Oh, we can make silver, we can make steel. Am I making steel at present? Is that steel? Yes, because they're making, they're making iron. Okay, let's make, we can make two long swords, which will give both our knights the weapons they need. 
Uh, yeah, that looks like a pretty good idea. Cool, cool. And we can probably make, that's for our footmen, yeah? We can make some pikes. Although, what's better? 20 attack, 16 attack. Now, the pike looks like it's the best option. Two-handed sword would be best, though. Level 6 blacksmith. Well, I'll get there. Um, we can, in the meantime, there we go, make a couple more sets of iron mail. And we have our circlet already. Oh, iron shields, that would be good. So let's check our numbers here. How many... Um, we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have five footmen, so five iron shields would be nice. That'll just give them some more defense. I think that's a good idea. How much? So that gives five defense, that gives six. So it's a small upgrade. Um, and we have a crap ton of bronze. Maybe we should just make bronze helmets. Yeah, I think we'll make bronze armor. So we'll make uh, four sets of bronze armor. That should keep everyone happy. And we'll make uh, three bronze helmets. I know I've got a couple iron helmets floating around. And just to be safe, I think I've already made a steel circlet. Yes, sir. Uh, the great artist wearing it. And we're going to want then five of these right here. Perfect. And then we're also going to want five of these. Cool. Now, we can also upgrade our archers. They uh, can use specialized arrows, but I'm not sure who fabricates those. Is it perhaps the carpenter? He makes the archer's bow, and he can make a recurve bow at some point, level 6. Okay, what's our guy right now? Uh, is there nowhere to see that in the screen? I uh, guess not. Uh, we'll check that just now. Oh, and you are out of what? Beds. Out of small beds. So let's maintain... 10, just so that we can maintain 10. Put that at the bottom of the list, actually, yes. There we go. Focus on these things first. Alright, we got plenty wood in storage, and we were checking for archer upgrades, right? Which I believe actually is, just drop this, the weaver's domain. So let's have a look here. Yes, spiky quiver and fire quiver. And for this we need pollo feathers. Okay, so we need to get that farming done, and for that we're going to need the Shepherd's Cane, which is gotten here... Yes, level 5. Okay, well he'll get on it. Uh, let's just bring the walls back up, that should help the frame rate a little bit, it does. Okay, I'm not sure why it's lagging so much, it really wasn't yesterday. But, uh, as our soldiers are being procedurally upgraded, and I'm sure they're very thankful for it, yeah, thick leather vests, that's good. Let's see, is our blacksmith anywhere nearby? Are you the blacksmith? I can't remember. I think you are. Click. No, you're the weaver. Oh wait, Rebecca's our blacksmith, hey. Now, where is she? Probably asleep. No? Who knows? She is, she's a wall. There we go. That's Daniel. Uncertain. Oh, I see, she's hammering in the furnace because she's maintaining our ore supply first. That's absolutely fine, too. Uh, I think what we're going to do, though, is we're going to launch a little bit of a night raid. That's right, it's time to surprise these goblins and uh, catch them unawares. Uh, I think that'll be worth our time. So let's um, grab... I'm going to get the rally point up front here. I know I said I would disable the saves, but to be honest, I haven't worked out how to do that. So they're just going to be there for now. So we're going to get those guys coming down there to a defensive position. And they should move any time this year. No, guess, guess that's not important to them. Oh wait, they can't get down there because I deleted the stairs. That's right. My safety stairs. Okay, so where's that? Let's line it up with that one. Make it faster to get down. Voila. There we go. Oh, and by the way, the uh, 10 by 10 sized uh, trapping areas is absolutely perfect it's all you need because you can get two traps in such a small space and um they 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 get animals really frequently or frequently enough that it's fine oh and all the stuff needs to needs to get collected i see we've also gone ahead and upgraded off camera a lot of our storage to be storage chests it is a significantly more compact and i figured that you know if i'm storing only one type of resource uh, in the chests behind the houses then i don't need to see it because I, I know what it is it also just reduces the number of uh, sprites on the screen at any one time 
which makes everything move a lot faster, as I'm sure you can imagine. Now, if I know this game, we are probably already out of... Let's drop the terrain. Probably already out of clay. Yeah, I think it's time for a new clay quarry, because this is gone. This is giving us mostly um, stone at this point. I mean, this is more clay here, but yeah, I think it's time to dig a new hole. So we'll let them finish this mining. Uh, suspend and resume. Should hopefully do it. Actually, you know what? We can just cancel it. It's fine. We are never going to see it down here anyway. Ah, but I see the goblins doth arrive. And we're already there to intervene. Perfect. Was that the goblin raiding party? That one poor dude? All by himself, too? Shame, man. I just feel bad for him. Okay, let's get... Oh, let's go ahead, I think. And No, you will come back to work. Let's go ahead and target these bastards right here. Bring it in. Okay, I want my archers on the flank, so they can come right there. Perfect. Get my cleric back in. Now, destroying the goblins here should hopefully trigger the next step of the story, which will uh, make an army arrive, according to Eugene, who is one of my commentators, and he, uh, or commentators, commenters, and he frequently provides some pretty fantastic advice on the game. Oh, and there goes the chieftain. Oh, and we get his cool uh, giant bone mace. Nice. It's for flattening faces, as one does. Okay, where are my archers? They are roaming around. Yeah, they'll deal with the little ones. So I'm going to get these guys to come and attack the structure so long, because my archers will clear up the, the smaller goblins. There we go. Very nice. Let's just check the daily update. And we're shy all round. It happens. Captain Cell the Mighty has been defeated, and it hurts. I'm sorry, Cell. Ogo is coming. Soothsayers say Ogo will crush everyone. Well, we'll have to see what we can do about crushing Ogo right back. A broken flute. A fire pit. Oh, we'll take that. I know exactly where that can go. We're going to drop that in right over here for now. Beautiful. And that seems to be about it. Someone will play the broken flute, I'm sure. Or do we play the broken flute, perhaps, to uh, summon Ogo? I don't know. I don't know, Go. Here's our bone mace. Very nice, very nice. Daniel Maven has achieved carbon to level 5. Perfect. So we can now make the recurve bow, I believe. Which should, uh, we should make four of them, yeah? Yeah, four of them. And uh, four, 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 four archers. Let's go. Oh, that's level 6. Never mind. Level 5 was this, the shepherd's crook. And we can get some crooked shepherds. Very cool. Blue market store. What's that do? Hmm. I have no idea. Screw it. Let's try and make it, yeah? Can we make that with the potter? Uh, potter, potter, potter. That's the potter. And can we make market stalls? Yes, we can. Cool, I'll, I'll order one. 18 blocks, jeez, that's a lot. Uh, it is what it is. Orders are full uh, for all my... Uh, my backlog of, of crafting for these little houses. It's all the decorations and things that still need to go up. Just slowing stuff down. Okay, have we got the shepherd's crook? I don't see it. Oh, he's making beds at present, I imagine. So let's go ahead and designate it to be a higher task. A higher priority task, rather. Um, drag that. That one. All the way to the tippy top. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right there. Perfect. A thief approaches. Aha! Little goblins have spawned up here. So let's get our soldiers out to deal with them. Come on. Perfect. And our archers can come this side to deal with these ones. I don't want to get robbed. Everyone gets quite a nasty mood debuff for that. He's got a little warhammer. Oh, he's so cute. There we go, the archers will deal with him, no problemo. Bye bye Oh, and my archers are damn good. Range increase, nice. Very nice. Okay, and that's been dealt with, that means they must be a goblin camp. Yeah, here it is. Right next by, and as you can see, we've been clearing these out frequently. They're, they're quite a nuisance, they just come back every now and then. It's fine. Our uh -huh, things will go and collect all this stuff. 
you know, when they when they remember to. They're finally starting to get through the wood collection over here. So, do we have any more chests we can place down to uh, bolster storage in this regard? Yes, we do. Perfect, 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 perfect. And I'm going to stick those right against the wall here. Because each one of these chests, I believe, either holds, I can't remember if it's 32 or 64 um, items. Regardless, it is a lot. 64 items. So we can put 64 blocks of wood, which is uh, equivalent of one and a half of, which, well, it's a lot, you know. <laughs> uh, don't ask me to maths this early in the morning. There we go. And let's go ahead, we can remove the stockpile, so they'll ship the wood in there. That's fine, just fine. And that just clears up a bit of space. It makes everything look a bit nicer. And we'll go ahead and place a couple more down here uh, to store the furniture. And again, this just reduces the number of sprites on screen. Uh, I'm not sure if that has a performance impact, but it certainly looks a bit better. Okay, there we go. And this one here needs to be designated. You just need to remember to designate them correctly. So they only store what you want them to store and not everything else under the sun, otherwise they'll just throw anything in there. Which is quite chaotic. Okay, now you are currently storing plants, that's fine, for the herbalist. Have you got anything in there? No, you're full to the brim. Okay, I need you to not be filled to the brim, because you're not supposed to have everything you do. Let's just double check that these are set up correctly. Uh, yes, so what's actually in here? Let's see what people are storing. It's food? Animal skins, that makes sense. And plants, it seems. Okay, so all the little stuff. Alright, that'll get that'll get emptied out though. So I will go ahead after this episode off camera and uh, set up more of these chests elsewhere. So just if you suddenly stop seeing what you were expecting to see, you know why. The blacksmith ones are set up inside. It's full of ore and um, ingots, I think, and these ones, yes. We have plenty of both. Very nice. What's this? Oh, is that the market store? Oh, cool. Let's have a look at that, shall we? Click away. Oh, that's the engineer's workshop. Never mind. Oh, why are you starving? Oh, God. Oh, God, he's trapped. Uh, quickly. Lift up this one. Remove it. Can he get out of there, then? Oh, shit. That's not good. Oh, there we go. Let's go get some chow now. That is good. What an idiot getting himself stuck back there. Let's place this, rotate it, ba boom. Okay, that's getting emptied out. All right, but this is not exactly entertaining. <laughs> um, I will designate the rest of the houses to go. Why don't we go and go and head, what am I saying? Why don't we go ahead and set up the next mining spot? Now we have dug down into here already, but I'd like to get at this clay. So, we have this giant pit quarry, which isn't necessary because I have a, a sneaky plan for how we're going to do the next one. Um, any lower than that, we'll start digging into stone. And I don't want stone, I want clay. So, let's, I think we'll do it in this corner here. Uh, yeah, right here. Let's go ahead and designate one too wide block of mining, right? Now that should be clay, I think. Yeah, that's the stone and that's the sort of sandy clay graphic. Cool. In fact, you know what? We'll just just to, just for the the sake of aesthetics, we'll make it a a, a cube, a square, a cube of uh, four by sixteen. Well, I suppose it's not a cube, then, is it? It's just a, it's a, it's a, we're just gonna a square. We're making a square. <laughs> um, so we are there. We go making some progress, digging down. Very nice. And I, this all this sort of like random stuff, just stashed here that the game engine has forgotten about. And, and there really isn't much of a way to get it. Well, the only thing you can do is you place a stockpile over it, right? As such. And you say, awesome. And then you go ahead and you say that the stockpile isn't allowed to have anything in it. And then they will ship it out. And that's sort of the only way to get the game engine to realize that it needs to move things. And we are very shy on wealth and food. Um, in fact, was our, was our food dropping there? Oh, I planted something. Whoops. Uh, let's cancel that. How do I how do I cancel it? Oh, there we go. Move. A grizzled traveller. Ho oh, Township, how are things for you? We're good, man. It's been pretty quiet, but you know, it's a bad sign when the birds stop singing and Mer Burley Hands would know about birds. 
My guess is wolves, goblin wolves. Watch your borders, you don't want to fight them after their trainers got them in a ladder, you hear. Bunker down if you need to, or run. Running's good, no shame in surviving another day. Alright, now a little pro tip. Your uh, strategy with the wolves is quite simple. You want to attack the base before they are released. And that is simply because, uh, while they're in their cages, and that is simply because if you can kill off all the goblins, the wolves will just run away. Um, and they are they are a very challenging enemy to defeat. Okay, they're installing all of the windows and things in here now. That's very nice to see. Oh, and all my half things are trapped down there, as I thought they might be. And you will see my dastardly plan now. We're basically just going to go straight down and then dig outwards once we're below ground level. I don't want it showing up. So we're going to dig out that four and then we'll place another ladder and then we will dig around it. Um, and that is simply, we can go all the way underneath here, and that is simply because I want to get as much clay as possible. I don't need stone, I need clay. There we go, and they're shipping it over to the potters, which means that we can finally get some of this construction done. Because it's taking so long, because we have a backlog, we just don't have the resources to manufacture what they're asking us, or what we're asking them to manufacture. So let's also go ahead, we're going to need another farmer soon. I can tell if we're going to keep up with food. But we can designate all these plants for harvest. That's always good. Now, this stuff should get shipped eventually. Uh, they will prioritize things like mining first, though. As is their want. Now, can I place this ladder? It appears not. Can I not place this anywhere? Okay, we're going to put it there. And then we'll just delete this one. That's fine. Okay, that stuff should eventually get shipped. And I, I see that we have the same issue here. So let's go ahead and designate a little storage zone. And then we're going to say nothing is allowed in there. Perfect. And we can just delete those when we're done. Very nice. A little bunny. Is that a pet bunny? Or is that a wild bunny? Click, 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 click. Got him. That is a wild bunny. Understood. Okay, let's let our miners do their mining. Uh, very necessary at present. Where is he digging out to? I didn't designate mining underneath, but that's fine. That's basically what we're going to be doing anyway. So let's slice back up. There we go. And get the choppers out. There we go. And let's designate a fair wad. We'll go this way in towards the mountain, I think. And there we go. And that should provide us with ample. And I really do mean... Oh, uh, damn, we can't. We don't want to remove our ladder. So let's... uh dig around it like that perfect and that block will stay intact oh as long as I don't go over it by accident just like I am presently doing there we go that's perfect that'll that'll do the trick for me I just like having a bit of a, a background um, to the ladder it just looks a bit more sane if we go up of tier okay so this is this is basically ground level all right so if we dig underneath there it will just show a single layer and that just looks a bit ridiculous so <laughs> we'll dig down one that's fine okay cool so actually let's set the slice up so that we can just instantly see where we want to be cutting there we go and we can see what our workers are up to now as for our farms i have been uh, been told that there is a better way to do this where you place individual strips of farming, and in the future I will do it. I don't want to tear down these farms though, as they are presently, presently, presently producing just enough food to keep us going quite happily. But I think it's time we upgrade that uh, our farmer, one of them, I don't mind which. In fact, we could use a couple more farmers actually. Maybe that's the, maybe that's what our workers will become. But you are pretty, you're a great farmer now, Zinnia, but you weren't always, were you? Um, but you can change jobs to become an animal lover. Oh, the trapper becomes the shepherd. My oh my, the plot thickens. Okay, well, Mike, congratulations. You are a new, um, you are a new shepherd. And we need a new trapper then, I guess. Let's find ourselves a trapper. Um, I'm not sure what the requirements are, so I'm going to assume that Kelvin here, because he's got a high mind, would enjoy trapping. There we go. Okay, so now we can designate some farming space. 
And since the housing is going up pretty quickly, I'm actually going to go ahead and destroy this structure. That will hurt our wealth quite substantially though. So, uh, goodbye. And that shall become farming space. So it also frees up a lot of resources for our uh, construction workers to use, which is nice. Let's just go ahead and rebuild this road. You know, and while we're at it, we can redo these stairs. They're too thin. Let's uh, remove that. Bye-bye. That was quite a violent explosion. We can remove the attack marker. I'm not sure why that's there. And let's redo the stairs. So, we're going to get that garish blood red color again. No, I'm kidding. We're going to do them in a, in a much more subtle winter hazel. And we want the stairs to be... Three... Yeah, we want them three wide and along this axis, right there. I do believe. If I draw a line going straight up this wall, that's the edge. So it's probably there. Yeah, that looks about right. No, that looks completely wrong. We should have just driven. <laughs> My mistake. Wow, I was way off. Okay, let's, re uh, let's, let's remove that. Yes, and try that again. So we're going to throw it down so it lines up with that road. There we go. Oh. Gosh. That's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? And remove. Should we just go... Should we just leave it? I think, you know, they can they can just go around. That way also the enemies can only attack us from one point, which which makes a bit more sense when you think about it. So yeah, I think we'll just we'll just leave it. Um, and in the meantime, then, we will throw down our shepherd's areas here. Uh, we need to go to zones and animal zones, animal fields. And I think we're going to go 10 by 10 again. There we go. And we want Poyo. Thank you. And we'll have another one here, 10 by 10. And we'll have some more Poyos, little chickens. And another 10 by 10, which will be Poyos. And another 10 by 10, which will be Poyos. And this means, of course, we're also going to need more farmers because those need to be fed. And I believe they, you make, you get your cook to make chicken feed, right? Um, pollo feed. There we go. And that's made with corn. So we're going to maintain. Yeah, you see, we don't have much corn. We're going to maintain 12 in the inventory at all times. Okay, we're also going to delete the corn powder. I know you need it. Okay, you can bake the last of your bread. Um, but yeah, that's all the corn is needed for. Okay, now we can make the meals with it. Panting refugees. Oh no, the goblins. Okay, and they're the wolves. Let us preemptively strike. Let the attack begin. Come on, let's go, guys. Look at the archers down here. Oh, we got robbed. Damn it, I wasn't even paying attention. I suppose that is my own fault. Alas. There we go. Come on, get in here. Tear these things down before Jeff the Favorite uh, unleashes his ferocious attacks upon us. Nice. And we get some choice loot out of this, too. I really wish my guys would come and loot things. They are being very slow. Well, they have finally picked up all the wood, which is a good sign. Um, let's move back over here. Ah! The wolves explode joyfully from the caves. As yip, yip, woo! And they're off into the distance. Goodbye, wolves. Be safe. Plenty of wood. That's good. Okay, very nice. Oh, look at our little army go. Yes, everybody's decked out in pretty good attire. That's good to see. Plenty of iron helmets around. Oh, damn it, and these goddamn <laughs> ladders are still there. Glitching out, as always. Oh, and there's our first Poyo. The Sandy Poyo. Nice. Now, let's go ahead and designate this guy for slaughter, because I think that should give us feathers. Or does that just give us meat, and they passively give us feathers? I'm not certain. We shall see. Actually, let me, let's, we can't cancel it now. Sorry. Sorry, Sandy. You're a dead chicken. My sincerest apologies. And I actually want the chef making pollo feed. Okay, he is making it presently. That's good. For some reason, that's what he's prioritizing. Uh, we have one cornfield, so let's lay down some more cornfields. I'll make them 11 long, 
and we want corn. Perfect. And another strip, 11 long with corn. Beautiful. Okay, just like that. And I think that, uh, I think that with that, we've had uh, two waves of goblin attack. We've uh, fixed up our military, given them some new equipment. We're making a brand new corn farm, and uh, we're doing pretty well with regards to progression. So I think that that will be the end of this episode. We, we're definitely moving slowly, but we're moving. And you know, that is ultimately what matters, isn't it? So uh, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Cheers.